Um, quick summary scope there, there's several areas of Bridgeville that are in particular in need of attention for the trash and debris that has accumulated. Uh, goes without saying, those areas reflect badly on the overall image of our wider community, especially when visitors or commuters are passing through from surrounding communities that may be doing a better overall job of upkeep, South Fayette and Upper St. Clair in particular. Uh, this effort for purposes of scope would include planning, organization, procurement of donations or necessary supplies with an emphasis on attempting to gather wider community support and involvement. Uh, and plans could scale based on overall interest. We need to be thoughtful about timing, obviously, based on current social events, current events, with distancing and whether this is even something that we want to pursue in the short term. Obviously, this was written back in, I think, February, so a lot has changed about getting communities together and locking arms to go clean up. But um, anyway, an additional benefit of this item with respect to the fact that this was drafted in February is that we could potentially move on this not a huge budget implication. If it was something we were interested in, we could we could kind of pursue it as fast as we wanted to. Potential approaches include soliciting local businesses, Home Depots, hardware stores to partner with us for modest supply donations. Again, some of those things that we're looking for, <laughs> uh, the current environment might might change some of their willingness to give those things away for free. Perhaps sanitation companies that would give discounted dumpster fees. There might be other green or environmental organizations that would be interested in supporting our efforts. Um, if we had enough younger children involved, you get the police involved, similar to riding around on Halloween night, just to give some exposure to the police and create goodwill there. Sammy's Screen House, discounted t-shirts for volunteers. We could go as far as we wanted to with this, with involving local businesses. Uh, again, as small or as big as, as involvement and in volunteer interest shows. I'd love to see us tap into the Facebook page, generate some interest. I think it'd be an interesting way to solicit ideas from the community of what are those hot spots that everybody notices and would like to put forward for consideration for cleanup. Um, and I thought we could potentially involve, again, different now, but I was thinking maybe some of the local restaurants would be interested in hosting kind of let's all group at restaurant A, get the directions for the day, break up into a couple of teams, come back, conclude with the happy hour. But as of tomorrow, there's no drinks being served on premises again. So <laughs> the county's really crushing my plans here. But anyway, anticipated value to the community, low, maybe medium, if we got a lot of interest. I say low because, um, you know, you clean up a couple of different areas. How many people actually notice that driving through? I'm not sure. I do feel as a citizen personally, I feel like things have gotten progressively Although small increments, progressively, there's there's some rougher corners of town that really could use some attention. Um, money, I'm saying between a thousand to two thousand dollars, just to wrangle everything together from supplies to, you know, subsidizing a local business with whatever they're willing to give us, those kinds of things. But nominal, suffice it to say, it's nominal. So that's the cleanup. Uh, happy to field any comments, questions. I, I think that, you know, something like this, um, you know, not only helps the community, but it, it helps build community pride within the residents. Um, I don't know. Other thoughts? You know, you, could look at, you know, you could look at this as, you know, not like, hey, everybody's meeting here. We're going to go clean up this, but almost little groups in each neighborhood. Like, Dale, you could have a group up in your in your area. Tim, we could have one in our, our area here yep. and we have, you know, have a day where it's, you have, you know, six to 10 different little groups that are going around and like, Hey, we're going to focus on these streets here. And, um, you know, and at the end of the day, like you said, we could have, you know, everybody gets together and, um, it, it's a, it definitely builds community support and, you know, this camaraderie and, uh, a sense of, ownership for your town yeah I mean, that's a lot of things you, you know people don't have a sense of ownership you know it's like you walk by something and you see trash and you pick it up you know you know you're, you're talking about you know anticipated cost between one and two thousand dollars maybe we use it to put garbage cans along you know the main thoroughfares where people walk so if you pick up a piece of trash you can throw it somewhere instead of just walking by yeah yeah that's a good idea nick you got a I did. Um, so I actually spent the last few days talking to different residents about the trash issue. And uh, I actually walked the railroad tracks 
And somebody, I don't know who, or a group of individuals may have already started picking up some of the garbage around the railroad tracks. I myself ended up picking up um, two Narcan needles mm. and mm -hmm. broken vape pens. And um, so I was wearing hard plastic gloves, my mask. And it's just, it's, you know, and little, you know, kids are walking by. It's like, do you just pick up that trash? I'm like, yeah, you know, I, I take pride in our community. And it's, it's just literally right across the street from the railroad, from the rail yard. And it just, um, I could definitely see uh, our, the business I work for getting behind this and offering our dumpster and other things if we need. And I, I definitely know a lot of other businesses that would be um, willing to jump at this. I believe, yeah. So awesome. But I, I do appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Thanks, Nick. Tim, do we have a list of hot spots at this point, or I, I do, but I wouldn't submit that as comprehensive. It's obviously very centralized to, to the places that I frequent. The railroad, the railroad from you know where Nick is talking about all the way up to the overpass by CVS is one of my particular. It's just disgusting down there, and that that's not a that's not a a quick. Let's get some kids and go clean up the tracks. There are pieces of siding back there and tires and i mean that takes some grunt work but uh that's certainly one to me um that every time i passed i think of this idea and like we we should be doing something about this yeah truthfully i've never been down there but i'm sure it's everything you say it is but it seems to me that's one that uh, if you're going to tackle that you really want adults involved you don't want yeah to for sure like absolutely scouts or someone else like that involved in something that that has the element of risk that you'd have there but absolutely uh, I, I think it, you know if there it would probably help a lot if we had a list of hot spots uh and i guess i'm blithely ignorant because i cruise through town and uh, maybe i have blinders on i don't see a lot but you know i'm sure it's out there yeah i and i i run a good bit right so when there's nothing else to do you're just kind of paying attention to the street sure. you get off the beaten path a little bit I, I think we could easily come up with a full afternoon's worth of three four five teams banging away at stuff and probably leaving things behind so yeah there's there's several hillside areas right off roadways through the borough that have an accumulation of trash tires you got you got areas that are overgrown by weeds. You have corners that the weeds are overgrowing in the you know the sidewalks. There's all kind of things we could do. Yeah, and this could yeah. be one of those low hanging fruit type things. That I agree. I agree. You know, it doesn't cost much. It's more of manpower, volunteer people um, to you know, hey, get your shovels, get your bag, yeah. your large bags. And let's clean us up. You know, you hook up with one of the you know. Michael Brothers and stuff, and they come and pick up all the garbage. Or we talk to our, tra you know, Connie Hall and say, we're going to do this on a weekend. You know, can you come out on a Monday to pick up all the garbage? Yeah. I think a sweep of McLaughlin Run would probably, probably be in order be once or twice, twice a year because you can bet that there's a lot that's accumulated there. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, and this one, too, probably is one that lends itself towards parsing out three, four to do's across the five, six, seven of us in planning commission. And I'm talking to the t-shirt place, Mike chase down the garbage stuff. Dale talk about getting supplies, whatever. Um, pick a day in the future. Again, it's all very dependent on kind of current state of things, but anyway. Well, Tim, with all that discussion, I think your anticipated value needs to be boosted again. Yeah. You know, I think it's minimum moderate. I mean, if you're talking about, you know, the kind of thing that brings the community together, I think it leans towards high, frankly. It's a pride kind of a thing, as someone said. Yeah. All, All right. right. So, so don't let my low value sway you guys when it comes time to put, <laughs> put oh, your rank on things. You I already had a rank high. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> Okay. okay.